BI Biomed program is the first of its kind in Canada to offer a truly interdisciplinary five-year biomedical program that integrates engineering with health sciences. It also offers the only health sciences program in health, engineering science, and entrepreneurship, also known as HESI for short. iBiomed offers applied learning opportunities with a strong emphasis on inquiry and problem-based learning. So what else will you be learning? You'll learn about artificial organs, artificial devices like prosthetic limbs, software used to run medical equipment, machines for medical diagnostics like MRIs, and rehabilitative exercise equipment, just to name a few. This is what your first year curriculum will look like. You'll take these courses with all other Engineering One students, with a couple of exceptions. For IBHS 1P10 and IBHS 1EP6, you'll just be with other iBios for these two courses. At the end of level one is when you'll make your level two stream selection. You can either choose the Biomedical Engineering Stream, or BME, or the Health Sciences Stream, or HESI. You'll get to choose one of the following engineering specializations. The Biomedical Engineering Stream leads to a professional accredited degree in your chosen discipline and biomedical engineering. You'll continue to work on interdisciplinary design projects and receive tailored learning opportunities through BME-focused electives. HESI focuses on design thinking, organizational behavior, leadership, human-centered design, and entrepreneurship. If you're interested in an integration of engineering, health, and business, then HESI could be for you. I loved math, I loved science, specifically biology. So uh, I just got all that mixture in HESI. We want students to learn how to stay with a problem and think about a problem that's worth working on. We want them to figure out how to come up with lots of different ideas. And then we want them to learn how to uh, design and build and test those ideas out there. HESI was a lot about human-centered design. Coming into second year, uh, there's a big shift from the engineering science toward the health sciences. So I got to study a lot of uh, human physiology and anatomy, biochemistry, but also got to link it back to the engineering. And what HESI brought me is teaching me how to be not afraid of being in the spotlight, not being afraid of voicing my opinion, not being afraid of being different from everybody else. No matter what industry you're in, we want to really encourage students to learn how to come up with, with big, bold ideas and learn how to put them into action. One of those options could be materials engineering, where they have the option to specialize directly in biomaterials. This means as early as second year, they'll take courses related to biomaterials and continue that through third, fourth, and fifth year. A student could go into materials and iBiomed and focus on designing new imaging technologies or new treatments for cancer or for implantable devices. Your body is like a moving structure and mechanical is dealing with everything moving. So like in terms of your blood flow or your bones, your muscles, the interaction is all mechanical engineering. Chemical engineering combines physics, chemistry, and math, and we look at how those interact together specifically um, for concepts such as processing. A lot of the same concepts can be applied to the human body and looking at the human body as a system. The human body basically is a giant electrical circuit. The heart is its own pacemaker. Um, it has its own electrical impulses. Electrical and biomedical engineering work together to like utilize and understand how the body's own electrical circuit works. And right now we're living in a very interesting time and just about everything you do depends in some way on software. There are lots of these new emerging um, technologies that could really be beneficial for the medical field, such as like medical robotics or these new biosensors. You have to know the low level programming so that you could be able to make use of these sensors in a meaningful way. Megatronics is an interdisciplinary 
field of study where you combine, as the name says, electrical, mechanical and software engineering. So you would actually work in a group with a set of domain specialists. There might be a specialist in the mechanical, in the electrical or in the software part. But everything has to work together today. It has to be integrated system. And that's really where the strength of the mechatomics comes out. Civil engineers uh, deals with the interaction between people and the natural and the built environment because so much of our health and well-being uh, depends upon the environment that we live in. So I picked civil and biomedical engineering because I was very passionate about sustainability and environmental engineering and climate change has such a huge uh, application to the medical field. It's Engineering physics is like a combination of all of the different engineering disciplines into one, from a more deeply theoretical level to allow you to approach any problem in engineering. Things that students can expect to learn in engineering physics and biomedical engineering would be the fabrication and development of biosensors, uh, learning the principles of nuclear engineering, and diagnosis and treatment of diseases. We host an info night every year where Upper URI Biomed students and faculty members talk about what you can expect in each stream. We make sure you have all the info you need in order to make an informed decision about your level two options. Our project we created is called Leela. It's the Life Emulating Emotion Linked Assistant. And it's a set of two bracelets that are for stress relief. So when you get stressed, uh, the conductivity of your skin changes and that can be measured uh, with our bracelets. The design process went really smoothly. We knew what uh, sensors we wanted, we knew how we were going to put them on the bracelets. We got to choose you know, what we felt strongly about to design and that, that's pretty cool. First year more targets uh, like hands-on projects in terms of hardware and software. Second year takes a slightly different approach where you actually go more into the research side of things. So we look to tackle uh, the disease of malaria and we wanted to do that by targeting a specific gene within mosquitoes called FREP1. Now FREP1 is essential for the survival of the malaria parasite. We aim to actually edit out the FREP1 gene so that plasmodium can no longer survive within mosquitoes and can therefore not be transmitted over to humans. Co-op is offered for both degree options, and you can add co-op at any time up to your final study term. A minimum of 12 months of relevant work experience is required in order to receive your co-op designation. You'll have the opportunity to work in lots of different industries, And iBioMed and Co-op will also prepare you for lots of different job and career opportunities. When you apply online, you'll want to look for application code MEH or MEI, MEI being the co-op option, but you can change this later when you start the program. Students will be assessed based on their top six grade 12 courses, including the following. Students with only two of the three required sciences must complete the third requirement through night classes, online classes, or summer school. It'll be up to the individual to make sure they meet these requirements before the start of classes. There's also a mandatory supplementary application consisting of four questions three video responses, and one written response. It'll take approximately 30 minutes to complete, and the deadline will be February before the fall term. For next year, it'll be around February 2021. Visit McMaster's admission website for the most up-to-date deadlines. An inclusive community is what we're all about in iBioMed. So we host a number of events throughout the year just for iBioMed students. 
First year students are welcome to the iBiomed family at altitude, McMaster's outdoor climbing facility. Tour McMaster's many hiking trails, participate in team building activities, and get to know your fellow iBios before the start of class. You never know who you'll meet. iBiomed also hosts monthly themed open houses where students can drop in, connect with iBiomed faculty and staff while grabbing a few free snacks before heading to their next class. And let's not forget about our year-end social, our way of celebrating students' hard work at the end of the school year. When you choose iBiomed at McMaster, you have a number of resources. You'll have access to academic, professional, and personal support, state-of-the-art libraries and research facilities, clubs and teams, and our iBioMed Society, just to name a few. We're here to support you in your journey. Visit us online and follow and subscribe to our channels. Thanks for watching. We look forward to welcoming you to McMaster.